All right, so from a random sample of 1,005 1, 5 adults in the U.S., it was found that 32% own an e-reader, which the following is the appropriate 98% common interval estimate the proportion of all adults in the U.S. who own an e-reader. Who own an e-reader. Okay, so we always start off with our point estimate, which would be p hat. So they all have, you know, 0.32 is p hat. Plus or plus minus our critical value in this case would be z star times our standard deviation of the of the statistic or standard error of the sample statistic. So form using the formula, in case not memorized, no problem. We would just use this in this place. So square roots of p hat times one minus p hat. Okay, so p hat is 0.32 plus minus our z star. Remember, that's the val critical value in the center normal curve where there's 90% of the area in the middle or 5% on each side. So you can either use you know, your, your, um, your z table or table A and find the z score where there's 5% to the left. But this, in this case, you would look from the inside out. So you want to be on here, somewhere in here. 0.05. So like about here, so it'll be something like negative 1.664, negative 1.645, so negative 1.64, 1.64. We, you know, it doesn't matter because we're adding or subtracting it. So let's just put 1.64 here. All right, but I'll, I'll give it away. 1.645, it looks like they're using. So right now we know it's either going to be B or E. And the P hat, 0.32. 1 minus 0.32 is 0.68 over 1,005. That's your sample size. So the answer would be B. And B, they're trying to scare you with that, or trick you with that square root there. All for it now. All right, 33. Measuring the heights of a tree is usually more difficult than measuring the diameter of the tree. Therefore, many researchers use regression models to predict the height of a tree from its diameter, measured at four feet six inches from the ground. The following computer output shows the results of a linear regression based on the heights and feet and that the diameter is in inches recorded from 31 felled trees. Felled trees. So which of these will be a 95% confidence interval with the slope of the population regression? Okay, so we're looking for the slope of the population regression. So remember, we're looking at, we have some, some depending on the form of the textbook, um, may have, you know, y equals alpha, you know, alpha times alpha x plus beta or something. Or it's essentially just, you know, slope intercept form, y equals ax plus b. But we're trying to estimate a, the true value of the slope from our, um, from our, from our, from our sample. So um, we're given, you know, data already. So we're trying to um, find the slope of the population regression line. So let's pay attention to what we're trying to um, estimate from what. What's our explanatory versus our response? We're trying to predict height. So height is our y from diameter. And so then, what well, we start off with, we actually want to get that backwards. Chiffon shows the slope of the based on heights. What's based on height? Sorry, that's flip flop. And it's saying, which um, shows the results based on heights. So that means that heights would be like the x. And then the diameter would be the y. So we're 
predicting, you know, so flip flopping the diameters from the heights. So um, our estimate, we're gonna, this will be our point estimate. We'll start at 1.054 plus minus. And remember we have um, a 95% comets interval. So we're, we're gonna use T star in this case. Because we're looking for, uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, like the means. We'll be studying like a, um, the, the mean, we're not looking at, we're not looking at proportion. We're looking at like the mean value to have an estimate. So we'll have like T intervals or T star be a critical value times the standard error. So again, let's flip, let's flip to our form, our packets. Like, so these here are much more easier to recognize what's going on. And you, again, this is the general form of the comments interval. So going from that, we need to find the T star value for a 95% confidence interval. And the sample size is 31. So N is 31. But in, in this type of estimation, we our degrees of we have to account for the degrees of freedom, and the degrees of freedom will be N minus two, or in this case, 29. So we have to look for the 95% confidence interval corresponding to 29 degrees of freedom. So let's look at our table. We're going to go to table B for this. So 29 degrees of freedom. 95% find this up with this value right here. 2.045. Here's the visual again. Our T star is 2.045. And now we just use that and multiply by what we have here by our 0 0.322. That's our standard error. So overall, we're going to have the form. Let me write it up here. So it's a little more 1.054 plus minus 2.045 times 0 0.322. 1.054. By four plus two point oh four five times point two two and with one side we have one point seven one and we re we already can see that it's gonna be B, but let's verify the other side. So let's subtract that from one point oh five four minus 2.054 times 0.322. And we get the other side, 0.326. Sorry for the messy handwriting, I usually write better. It's kind of weird angle here. Anyways, the answer is definitely. And group four, uh, we got a group of 80 people who have been diagnosed as pre-diabetic because of high blood glucose levels volunteered to participate in a study to investigate the use of cinnamon to reduce blood glucose to a normal, to a normal level. Of the 80 people, 40, 40 were randomly assigned to take a cinnamon tablet each day, and the other 40 were assigned to take a placebo each day. People did not know which tablet they were taking, and their blood glucose levels 